Katie, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm wrapping up the final episode in Brittany Wang's serial for On Wings of Ash and Dust, and today I'm talking about Edge of Fates. And this one was the epic final conclusion of season one, and kind of leads you into season two, which is super cool. I'm going to go into this book and then give my review on the series as a whole. So the final trial will decide the fate of all. Quinn's fire and the ancient tome might be gone, but with only one trial left in the Gwilian Mountains, at least the worst will be over soon, or so she thinks. When a new betrayal reveals a shocking truth about her brother's death, Quinn is blackmailed into keeping it a secret. Competing in the trial of strength is her last chance for redemption. But the challenge is more cutthroat than the heirs bargained for, and an unexpected twist unveils there's much more to the competition than what they imagined. As dark events from the ancient prophecy start to unravel, competitors must become allies before there's no world left to rule. And then my review was five stars, and I just wrote very uh, non-spoilery epic finale of season one. I can't wait to read the next season. In Edge of Fates, we head to the Gwilian Mountains where the final trial takes place on top of an inactive volcano. All the pieces in the other five books leading to this book get explained. The history, Numa, Mystics, Quinn, the Queen, Gaius, the Pirates, everything. This book is packed. Seriously, packed. I could not put it down. There are epic reveals, an epic battle, an epic ending. Basically, this book is epic. Go read it and the whole series if you haven't started yet. Yeah, so they head to Gwilion and they're going to basically have to fight each other to the death or um, like tap out. And like Quinn is still torn on because of the Queen's threat, you know, does she play it safe to save her brother or does she go and become Queen to like save the world? And um, you learn that Vale um, has her own bargain with Quinn, basically, and, like, all these pieces, you start to learn more about the Numa and the Mystics, and all of this is happening at the same time as the trial, <laughs> and so it's just, like, race, 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 race. They have, like, seriously ticking clock trying to figure all this stuff out, and then, um, some more big bads come, and, like, that fight scene was so, so cool. And this is, I'm trying not to be spoilery, <laughs> spoilery, but if, like, if I was the queen, I don't think I would have admitted what she admitted. I, because, like, yeah, I just, I have thoughts. Once you read it, let me know so I can chat spoiler thoughts with you. <laughs> um, and then when it ends, you're kind of led to the next bad guy that was actually in the background the whole time. And so that's kind of, kind of go what into season two is about. And they're still having to figure out the fate of their world. Um, they need to go into the other world and get the key, get whatever, and bring, do the things that they're supposed to do to save their world. I can't spoil without giving the history lesson that you learn in this book, but it's really, really good. This series overall, I like freaking loved it. I love that it was broken up into each episode because you got to go to that land and maybe that's how it was in a long form anyways, but um, I really like how Brittany got to do the cliffhangers, got to show the world building, got to show the characters, and um, just everything that's going on in this series. I love how each episode itself got to go through the beats, and so you still got that high and low, and her world building, her descriptions, her character arcs, like, everything was so well done. Like, I didn't really have any questions at the end that I was like, well, why did you do this? Or what's happening with this? Like everything gets answered enough or you can infer enough to draw conclusions or know what's coming in season two. And so like th there was one thing that I was like, does this get resolved? And she was like, that's in next season. And I was like, okay, I can wait for that. Um, but yeah, like I'm just so excited. This was such a great fantasy series. Seriously, you guys, if you have not checked it out, do yourself a favor and do so. It has quickly become one of my favorites. Um, definitely one of my favorite fantasy series. And like right along there, if y'all haven't checked out uh, Bethany Atazada, her series for The Stolen Kingdom. I absolutely love that fantasy series as well. Um, 
So do yourself a favor and get yourself some Christmas presents <laughs> this year. But yeah, that's the conclusion of this series. It's been so fun getting on Britney's ARC team for all of this and being on the inside with all the knowledge and early releases. So thank you so much again, Britney, for letting me join your ARC team. I hope you had a blast and are relaxing now. <laughs> Overall, I give this series five stars. Let me know what y'all are reading down below, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye!